Your resettlement journey to Canada. 2. Travel to Canada. IOM will provide you with your travel details. It is normal that you may not know all your travel information until a few days before you depart. On the way to Canada, the journey may be long and tiring. It is common for travel to take many hours or even a few days. There will be many airport procedures to follow along the way. You may need to go through these steps more than once, especially if you have multiple flights. Step 1. Go to the airport. Step 2. Receive an IOM bag like this one. Keep this bag visible and safe during your entire journey. Step 3. Go to the airline check-in counter for your flight. The airline staff will give you your boarding passes and baggage registration tags. Place your checked baggage on the weighing scale to be weighed and tagged. Checked baggage will be left with the airline staff so it can be loaded onto the airplane. Only keep your hand baggage and personal items with you. Whether at the airport, in the airplane, or in transit, it is important that your family stays together and that you watch your children. Step 4. Pass airport security. Depending on the airport, you will need to go through security checkpoints at the entrance and or after check-in. You and your baggage will need to pass through a scanner. Follow instructions of security officers looking for dangerous items in your baggage and on you. An officer may need to touch you to check for dangerous items. Step 5. Complete exit procedures. This may include providing your documents to a government official for inspection when you exit a country. Step 6. Board the airplane. Check your ticket to see the specific number of your boarding gate. This is where you will wait until you board the airplane. Listen carefully to any announcements in case there are changes or delays. Step 7. Enjoy your flight. Since it is common for travel to take many hours or even a few days, here are some activities you can do on an airplane. Look through in-flight entertainment. Eat meals and drink plenty of liquids. Keep children busy and quiet at their seats. Take medication if needed. Talk in a soft voice to other passengers. Use the toilet. And sleep and relax. Follow the flight attendant's instructions. You must fasten your seatbelt during takeoff, landing, and when the seatbelt sign is lit. Please also note that it is illegal to remove safety equipment, such as life jackets, from the airplane. Step 8. Transit. Since there may not be direct flights to Canada from the country where you are living, you may need to take more than one flight to reach your final destination. IOM movement operations staff or professionals delegated by IOM may assist you in transit. Step 9. Arrive in Canada. Step 10. Receive airport assistance. Airport reception services in Canada will assist you in going through immigration and customs as well as traveling to your final destination. Ensure that all your baggage and documents are with you at all times. Keep the IOM bag visible so people can find you. Step 11. Complete entry procedures. Upon arrival in Canada, you will also go through a brief interview with an immigration officer at the airport. Then you will be asked to sign some documents. The documents you receive when you arrive in Canada are very important. Keep them safe. When this process is completed, you will become a permanent resident with the right to live in Canada. Collect your checked baggage from this moving belt. Make sure that the baggage you take is yours. Good luck with your travel to Canada. Thank mm -hmm. you.